Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Jake Hiff, FM Scout, and in today's video we're going to be looking at a new list on the FM Scout website. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at the Sugar Daddy Clubs list. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Now, straight away, I know you're probably thinking, oh, this is all the clubs that have a lot of money. It's a lot more detailed than that and goes into a lot more depth about the chairmans behind these clubs and what kind of chairmans they are. And you can see which clubs have certain chairmans and therefore you will know if you do start a save with a certain team, what kind of funds are you going to be getting? Are you going to be getting a lot of financial backing or not? So I'm going to be going through the four different types of chairmans that we have decided to use in this list here all of which would be referred to as a sugar daddy chairman. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one or every single team. You can get the kind of idea what you might see. But first, I'm going to go into the game and show you these different types of chairmans that you can get to be classed as a sugar daddy club. Okay, guys, here we are inside of Football Manager now. If you do enjoy the video, feel free to hit that like button. As always, that really helps us out in terms of reaching new audiences and video performance. Comment down below if you're going to be using any of these clubs or if you found this list useful at all. It's always nice to hear from you guys in the comments. And if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet or you've been watching for a while and haven't subscribed, it would mean a lot if you would hit that subscribe button. Around 50% of the people watching these videos are not usually subscribed. And that's quite a lot. Obviously, we did aim for 100,000 subscribers recently. We've surpassed that now, but we're not going to slow up. We're going to keep going. So if you do enjoy today's video, consider doing that and let's get into it. So you can see we are here with Chelsea. We're not going to go into what type of chairman they have yet. They will come later in the video. But if you do want to see me managing Chelsea in Football Manager, you can see that on my channel. The link to that will be in the description. Almost close to 700 subscribers over there. Your guys' support has been immense. But let's go straight into the first type of chairman that we'll be looking at. And that is the foreground chairman. So PSG is the first team we're looking at in League 1 Uber Eats. They are the first example we're going to be showing of a foreground chairman club. So what these kind of chairmans do is they keep throwing money at you until they eventually leave the club if they ever do. So they'll continue to pour money into the club. If you use up your transfer budget, they'll give you more. If you're at say a Barcelona, if you use your transfer budget, you'll have to earn it back to spend it again. But PSG and other clubs such as Monaco and Man City who have foreground chairman do not use this. And in not all cases, but most of the cases, they will just keep pumping money into the club. Now I'd just like to preface all of this by saying, just because these clubs are classed as sugar daddy clubs, it doesn't mean that all of them are going to have like an infinite transfer budget. Some of them, you might have a really low transfer budget, but at least these chairmen, the ones in these lists, will continue to provide you with financial support. But let's say you start a save with Nottingham Forest, for example. Maybe you get halfway through the season and realise you don't really like to reinvest. And that can be quite annoying in saves when you're just not getting the financial backing of a club. And sometimes it can really ruin a save if you get deep into a save and find out that you're not being financially backed. So hopefully this list will help you out with that. But yeah, PSG are quite an obvious one in real life. So are Man City where they're run by these oil-rich tycoons who just keep feeding money, and that is represented in Football Manager. I mentioned Monaco as well. They are a similar style where they're just going to keep piling money into you. If your transfer budget runs out, they'll keep giving you money. This can really help you in the long run if you just want to like financially dominate. It doesn't mean that you are immune to having financial issues. That can still happen if you don't spend right, but at least you don't have to worry about it too much and don't have to keep checking on your finances page. So the foreground chairman was the first kind of chairman we're looking at. Now we're going to be looking at the second kind, which is the opposite to foreground. It's a background chairman. Now these background sugar daddies are still very useful for your club. It doesn't mean anything really in the negative sense. They're just not really as prolific and we're gonna go into why. So some good examples of these are in the Greek league. If we head over to Greece and go to the nation profile, two examples in Greece, Olympiakos and Pauk, both have background sugar daddies. Now the difference between a background sugar daddy and a foreground one is where when a foreground chairman will keep putting money into the club, no matter what, a background chairman will still supply you with funds. They will still financially back you only to the point of helping the club they're not going to just keep putting excessive amounts of money in for no reason so they're definitely a good chairman to have and i think for most people you'd be pretty comfortable now with background chairman when your club does progress maybe this can change because there's a good possibility that these chairmen won't be able to back you to the level that you might need so you've got olympiakos to a champions league contender kind of club would the chairman still be able to put money in? It's not guaranteed, and that's why we put it as a background chairman and separate to the foreground chairman, where I mean, if you're Monaco and you get to a Champions League final, the same chairman that you have already is going to keep piling money into your club. That might not happen with Olympiakos. If you start developing Greece and developing the club, it might not stay the same. Therefore, that is one of the differences between a foreground and a background chairman. But I think both of these are really good chairmen to have and can just make for a nice fun save 
with very little worry. Now we're going to be going back to Chelsea for the third type of sugar daddy on the list and that is what we call an underwriter chairman. Now this gives you no real guarantees in terms of the transfer budget side of things. If your transfer budget is £100 million and you spend £100 million, unlike at some clubs, Roman Abramovich isn't just going to give you a random injection of £30 million to spend again. That's not really how he works. And similar clubs that have these kind of chairmen are Leicester, for example. But again, use the list if you want to see the full list that goes through all the leagues, all the countries. But what an underwriter chairman is, while they might not give you a significant transfer budget increase every now and then, what they will do is they'll consistently cover any losses at the end of the season that you may have. So if you leave your club, say, in £20 million of debt at the end of the season, quite often, rather than having to sell your star player to make some money so you're no longer in debt, what Roman Abramovich and similar underwriter chairman will do is just pay off that debt. They won't expect anything back. And it just gives you a nice sense of calm in your head where you don't really have to worry about the finances that much. I think in this football manager particularly, it is very hard to bankrupt a club, even if you are in the lower leagues. Unless you're really silly with your money, I think you'll be fine. But with an underwriter chairman, at least if you do rack up some debt, they can just clear it. It doesn't mean they will every time. That is not what we're saying here. But we're saying that they do have a financial capability and often do. But again, even with a foreground chairman, I mean, PSG is a good example. Yes, they do have a lot of money. But by foreground chairman, we don't mean that you're always going to have £300 million to spend. Just that they'll often just throw money in, just give you a random transfer injection for no reason other than just to be nice. So now you know what a foreground chairman is, a background chairman, and an underwriter chairman. We have one more type of chairman on this sugar daddy's list that we'd still class as a sugar daddy, but is slightly different. And that is one of the least common types you can get, and that is an underwriter, but they expect returns. So the difference between an underwriter and an underwriter that expects returns is that when they do clear your debt, say they do clear 20 million pounds of debt, yes, that's lovely. With Roman Abramovich, he leaves it, that's fine, you're done. With some other clubs, for example, Morelia in Mexico, I think they're in the second Mexican division, what they will expect from you is, like I say, they expect the money back. So if a chairman here, who is the chairman for this club? Let's have a look, shall we? The chairman, okay, owner, same kind of thing, is Jose Luis Higuera. If he gives you a load of money at the end of the season to clear up, let's say you made £50 million of transfer debt with this club, what Jose would go and do for you is he'd just pay that off. But where Roman Abramovich goes, all right, see you in a bit. Jose comes back a year later and says, where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? A bit like Stewie Griffin in Family Guy, if you've seen that episode. But what this means is you will have to pay it back. It's not just a nice gesture. As good as it is to have that debt cleared, you will have to pay that money back. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, because like I say, you might start a save with a club where they don't financially back you at all. If you're in 20 million pounds of debt, they probably will just leave you there. But with these sugar daddies clubs, Obviously, if you want a bit more detail, if you didn't like my explanation, you can go on to the list, which will, again will be linked in the description. And you can see over 100 clubs on this list, and you can also see the description of each one, so you don't have to rely on what I'm saying. But I think this list is just really useful in stopping them annoying things where you start a save and go, hold on, what's the point? I'm not getting any money. Often football manager players do love transfers as much as anything, scouting, building your own team. And when you're not being financially backed, sometimes just doing free transfers and loans isn't as fun. So it's always nice to have this financial backing from up above in clubs. And that's what this list is for. So hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully you found this list useful. I was sometimes confusing myself in the video. Hopefully that didn't come across. But like I say, check the link out on the website because then it's explained fully there and you don't have to listen to my bad interpretation of it. But I think I've got it all okay. And that will be the end of today's video. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below if you found this useful and subscribe to see more content like this. Remember, my channel will be linked in the description too if you want to check it out and check out what I look like. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.